Perfect. So you can see that these two persons are coming and we can easily see that our tracker is tracking these two persons separately and that's why the time is also being tracked for uh, the person separately. Hello and welcome to Rocket Systems YouTube channel. Today in this video we are going to calculate the time a person has spent inside a particular video or a live feed from the cameras. So in our previous videos we discussed how we can calculate or we can detect persons or the faces inside a video. We also used tracker to assign unique IDs to those persons. But in this video we are going to calculate the amount of time a person has spent inside a frame or in a complete video file. So let's get started. Now the coding part of this script is very much similar to the previous uh, scripts which we have already discussed let's say in case of person detection. So what I've done is that I have copy pasted all the code from my person detection video. Let me just quickly explain you what uh, I have here. So here I have imported all the necessary uh, modules which I will be using in this script. Here I'm loading the model files. This is where we have defined all the classes and here we have uh, defined the tracker. Now this is again the non-max suppression function uh, which we discussed in our previous videos and then here I am importing a test video file then I'm reading that particular video file resizing it and then finally here I'm doing the inferencing and then somewhere here we are also passing the, passing the, uh, the detected person's coordinates to the tracker and then tracker then finally gives us the tracking ID and everything and then finally we are showing all the window. Now in this in this video let's modify this code to start calculating the time of that particular person. So let's first understand the logic how we are going to perform this. So the logic of calculating the dwell time of a person is quite easy. What we are going to do is that we are going to define few list and the dictionaries in our code. So let's say this is our list and let's call this list as object ID list. And then along with this, we will define few dictionaries as well. So let's say this is our dictionary and let's call this dictionary as D time. And then let's define another dictionary and let's call this as dwell time, which will actually hold the values of the dwell time. Now what will happen is that in first frame, let's say our model has detected a person and our tracker has assigned that particular person an ID which is zero. So let's say we have the zeroth ID. Now in the first frame, what our code will do is our code will check whether this ID which is zero is present inside our list or not. If it is not present, then it will we will append that ID inside our list. Now once that is done, we will also save the current date time value in the D time dictionary. So we will say, okay, the zeroth ID has this particular date time. So let's say date time dot now. So what will happen is that in our next frame, we will again run this code and then we will see, okay, zero is already inside the list. So we don't have to save it again. And then what we'll do is that we will use this date time and we will subtract it with the current date time. And then finally we will have the seconds and then we will save the seconds inside our dwell time dictionary. So we will say, okay, zeroth ID has this much seconds. And then we will go again. We will see, okay, zero is again present. We have this date time. We will subtract this date time with the current date time and we will save it again inside our dwell time dictionary. Similarly, let's say in the fourth or fifth frame, we have detected another person. So let's say we have one as well. So we will perform the same steps inside our D time. We will have the same thing for the first person as well. I mean, the, the another person which is detected and then in the next frame we will go back and then we will see okay we have the first i mean the first id has this particular date time so we will subtract it with this date time and then we will have the seconds i mean the time for that particular person as well so in this way this loop will keep on going and going and then it will give us the time a person has spent inside uh, a particular video now let's get back to our uh, python script so as we already discussed, I have created these this list and these two dictionaries to hold our values. Now, once we have our tracker has given us the object ID, we are going to write all our uh, logic inside the tracker function. So first I will check if 
object id not in object id list which means the object id which is currently being tracked is not present inside the list so if it's not present then we will first append it so what i'll do object id list dot append object id and after this i will also initialize the current date time inside my d time dictionary so i'll do object id equals to date time dot date time dot now let me quickly check if i have imported date time yes it's here now once that is done i will also initialize the dwell time dictionary with value as zero because there is i mean the time is zero now now let's say if it's not pre if it's already present then what we have to do we'll go inside our else loop and then what we will do we will first take the current time so our current time will be the date time dot date time dot now and we will take our previous time so let's call it as old time or let's say if previous time previous time previous time will be present inside our d time diction, uh, dictionary and with object id and then we will have to calculate the time difference so time difference will be current time minus previous time that way we have the time difference so we will save uh, sorry we will calculate it in seconds so seconds equals to time difference dot total seconds and once we have the seconds we will put these seconds inside our dual time dictionary plus equals to seconds so whatever value we already have we will keep on adding it with the the current seconds which we have calculated and then finally once that is all done we will simply uh, put the current time in the d time dictionary again so d time object id is equals to date time dot date time dot now and then i guess after this we just have to display the time so let's take a cv2 dot rectangle and first let's draw the boundary box for that particular person so x1 y1 x2 y2 and then 0 cross 0 cross 255 and let's take thickness as 2 after this let's display the size time on top of that uh, boundary box so let's create a variable text and then here we will simply use dot format let's take this in integer value dwell time and then object id and then cv2 dot put text frame perfect so what we are doing is that if the object id is not present inside this list we will append it and we will also initialize a date time for that now if it's already present inside it we will simply calculate the time difference and we will also calculate the second which we are going to save inside our dual time dictionary and then we will also reinitialize with it with the, with the current date time and then here we are simply showing all the data uh, on our cv2 window so let's run this code to see how it goes let me just clear everything so python 3 
dual time dot pi okay it has loaded the window let's wait for the person to come perfect so as we can see the person is being detected and the timer on top of the bounding box of the person is also increasing perfectly fine so i guess our logic is working perfectly fine and uh, it's it's calculating the time the person has spent inside the frame and this will stop as soon as uh, the person moves out of the out of the frame So we can see that the person has moved outside of the frame that the tracker is still trying to track that person so that's why the time is there but it will probably stop soon let's wait for uh, another persons to come then we'll see perfect so you can see that these two persons are coming and we can easily see that our tracker is tracking these two persons separately and that's why the time is also being tracked for uh, the person separately so i guess that's that's this is how you can uh, calculate the time of a person inside a particular video so that's all for this video thank you for watching this video please like share and subscribe to the channel